Hello, my name is Jarg and welcome to the first of uh, what's going to be an irregular set of videos where I visit random servers that I play on and just show you around basically, see what's what and where's where and why is why. And I thought we'd start off with the first one being TSS Minecraft, which is, uh, you've got the IP address here if you wish to actually go there. The website for this is tssminecraft.com and there's a very simple sign up process there. If you click on the apply for whitelisting at the top, you fill in your, your email address and your in-game Minecraft name and it shows up in-game for all the ops so they can actually whitelist you immediately that they get on. So that's that. You don't need to um, justify why you want to be on the server, but the server does use various um, anti-griefing databases to look up your account and that information is shown automatically when you log in, so um, just a warning there. Anyway, let's go! It's uh, absolutely nobody online. Amazing. Good, good, good. Right, so if we join this... Go on, go on, join. There we go. I can click buttons. Right. And hello, hello. And when you log in for the first time, you will not be here. You will be where? Um, you'll be here, outside this board of amazing stuff. And um, it has uh, important notes. This one's very important. Penguins FTW. Um, and uh, there's some information about uh, what we have for anti-griefing and uh, what to do if you're new. And it's tssminecraft.com slash join and you can sign up there uh, some stuff about welcoming and uh, that uh, the server would accept donations of any amount of money but apparently raw fish is not a currency sad times this talks about the portals that are available and some stuff about uh, who's who and who's where and why and these people are the important people of importance so um, having signed up you'll then be uh, allowed to access the world. Now, dink, this world is not accessible. You cannot build here. This is just for the purposes of um, a portal system. You can see this marvelous architecture was created by a single person um, called Yene, who is an amazing builder. And if I had him on, bink, on Jarg Plays Minecraft, then Penguinia would be already built, but I don't, so sad times, sad times indeed. So we have this sponge business, because a sponge protects a certain area around it, 16 by 16 by 16 from griefers. And um, players can place a single sponge, but not in anyone else's area. So no one can edit the area protected by a sponge. So here we have the internal business. This used to be a train station that has been repurposed. And these are the portals. People are saying they cannot find the portals. How massive and dark and doomy do we need to make these? There are more up there, various different worlds. I'm going to start off here in survival. It's the most obvious starting point. Um, so if we plunge in here... Oh, terrific, it's night time. No, do not want, do not want. Let's just give myself a sleeping arrangement. Do, do, do. Come on. Right. <laughs> Good morning. I will take this back. Oh, dear. Just destroyed spawn. Give me one of those. Do, 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 do. You saw nothing, people. You saw nothing. Um... Right, so, with your sponge, you, we will head out, and there's various things already here, and this is a survival world, so it's all about um, making a house, fending off the monsters, and whatnot, and people have already built random things. These gates are closed. Hmm, the Derby King's house, fair enough, there's something floating up there. Hope it's not a ghast. Random signs. Relocation of free food to... What? What? Random. Ah! There's a creeper. He is not free food. Um. However, creepers... Hello. Creepers are my friends. Well, actually, I'm just in creative, so that's why. Boink! But they don't destroy land, as you can see. So, that's another thing we have in place to prevent... Hmm. Griefingness. Oh dear, somebody's destroyed a temporary house that was temporary. Anyway, um, 
let's see. Can I go? Oh, come on. Fly! Fly, I say! Right, so... As you can see, people have already built here in various places, and there are trees. Look at them all, trees. What is this up here? I need to know what this is. It is a random chandelier that is peculiar. Was someone AFK here and been trapped? I suspect so. Oh well. Um, as you can see, lots of buildings in progress. This particular world is relatively new, so there's not that much going on, but um, what there is is pretty funky. I land here, boink. So here we have Flavaliki's red versus blue. Um, don't think I can get in here. No! Where's the button? It's bound to be a button. Aha! I see it. In! Arr! In, I say! Oh my goodness. I do not like doors. There we go! Yay! And we have an arena-style thing. We can fill this with sheep, should we need to. Which is all well and good. I don't think I can get out. Yes, I can. Yay! Hmm. Um. But anyway, this is all supposed to be survival. So, um, normal players won't be allowed to spawn things. And uh, chickens will be available to you. Hello. Hello. And we can make more. Whee. Hello. Right. Oh, out of my way. Um, so it's pretty interesting. This The world is... Uh, uh, it does have a border on it. It's 10,000 blocks away from spawn, so in every direction. So that's quite quite a huge enough area for you to, to uh, find somewhere to build. So the, you shouldn't have trouble finding somewhere. People have built some pretty nice stuff here, actually. This, uh, this one was built by friends of mine, who may very well be joining me soon in JPM. Um... Hello. Your doors are open, DB. Closing them. There. Uh, oh dear. Hmm. Yes. More sponges, I say. More sponges. Uh, right, so that's that world, but there are others. If I just um, hack my way back to the hub. Here we are. My goodness, it's night time here now. Oh, sleeping again. C -c sleep. <coughs> and, oh, there it goes. And now I have three beds. Oh, let's clear this nonsense. There we go. Right. So, let's go to uh, one of the other worlds. Um, do, 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 do. So, as well as survival, there are also um, other worlds. I'll very quickly nip into the nether. Mm. Penguins do not belong in the nether. So, there's the survival world. Right next to it is the nether. Walking in. And people have built some stuff out of stuff. There it is. Nether. Hmm. In case we couldn't detect that. Not a fan of the glowstone, but there we are. And that T is too wide. Hmm. Anyway, so people have built some stuff, and we can. Uh, oh dear. There we are. We can go down here and do nethery things. Uh, this is not a safe area. It's just that, that uh, people have built some stuff here. Yes. Well, he's built this area, which is fine, I guess. Bricks. Bricks in the Nether. Um, but again, this is a survival-based world, so... Oh dear, awkward doors are awkward. Um, oh goodness me. Big man, killing themselves. Oh well. Um, so it's all about surviving. Oh dear, for some reason there's fences down there. It's a bit peculiar. Sponges work here as well, so if you were to slap down a sponge, um, then it will protect an area, as you can see, going on down here. And you can add different people... To names to your sponge, so you have multiple people sharing us an, uh, an area. Oh, did not mean to destroy that. Let's try putting that back. <whistles> Moving on. Um, let's see if I can make it back to uh, um, to the spawn. In fact, I could probably fly there, but never mind. Um, Alright. Oh, up we go. If you see people flying about in the nether or in the survival world, that's fine. They are probably donors who have um, donated money for the privilege of being able to fly, as opposed to being penguins. Right, so there's those two. There are others, and much more funky ones, perhaps. And that glass is odd. Oh well. Uh, so in here, we have... What do we have? We have Donor Isle. If you've donated money to our server to help keep it running, then you have access to this world, where basically you can create anything you like. Monsters are turned off, except for sheep. And, of course, it's night time. Oh, dear. Um, 
What is it? That. Oh dear. There we go. So no one else is on, so that shouldn't matter. So and they can build, and this is playing with Mars. Um, sky hold thing unfinished. Tut tut. Um, and there's various other things here. I don't know if I've set my home here. No, apparently I haven't. I thought I had, though. Never mind. Um, but you can build anything you like. Massive diamond houses, whatever. Um, only donors can access this world. Um, but as I say, monsters are off. And I think weather is turned off as well. So if we just head back... Oh, 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 always it turns around. Uh, that one, I think, is closed. We did have a portal to the end. But we decided that that would be better saved for people actually doing that in a legit style. So uh, so that's why it's not there anymore. It's just hack my way over here. There we go. Uh, where do I want to go now? Oh, yes, these ones up here. These ones are funky. Ooh, up we go. Uh, in fact, fly, fly, penguin. Mm. Right, so here, up here, which you can access from those stairs, they go all the way around. Up here we have Skylands, my favourite. And it's, oh, it's Skylands Plus. So it is uh, all, the, all the mobs, all the ores, everything is available, but it's Skylands. So you can um, survive in a different setting, basically. So there's no massive oceans, although there seems to be a little bit of a water issue there. And someone's built a... Woolen house. That's bizarre. Um, oh dear. Someone's built a gravel house. No. Why? Why would they do this? This must belong to Drusillo. Um So, gravel house. Um, again, it's a typical survival, so if you want to uh, navigate between the islands, you have to build bridges and whatnot. And um, because there's very limited land, mobs are thickened and... and Thick. Thick and thick. Thick and thick, apparently. See, look! There is a cow! But evil mobs no. are everywhere, usually. And now, of course, I can't find a single evil mob. Hmm. Well, they're here somewhere. Um, because there's limited land for them to spawn in. There are caves and all that good stuff as well. So it is your typical survival world. And, of course, I can't find a single mob now. That's uh, ridiculous. Um, I suppose I'm very near spawn, so people have probably lit up most of this stuff. Somebody's got some weird piston business going on there. Ignore that. Um, right. I want a treehouse. Whose treehouse is this? Hello. Oh, nobody's, apparently. Oh, well. Um, sponges work here as well, so wait a minute. Why is this randomly in the middle of nowhere? How did this get here? Oh. What a massive island. I think originally this was the spawn point right here. This particular block, which is fantastic. Um, so we've got Skylands, and again, I think the uh, borders are still 10,000 by 10,000, which is way out in the distance in every direction. So let's just go back to the hub. Boink. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well, let's go here. You can also set a home location in each place. You just slash set home. And it will store this location for this particular world as being your home location. And that's really useful that we can actually set it per world so that uh, you can have more than one home. Whee! Plink. Right. The last world we have here at the moment is Don... No. I'm on the wrong side. Is that one. Uh, flying. Go. Which is at Skylands and up here. Oh dear. See through the world there. Awkward. So here we have the last one which is at the moment uh, pixel art. And... Oh, there we go. And I seem to have spawned inside something. And, oh, if I want to get rid of the particles and whatnot, then I need to disconnect. All right, let's just quickly do that. And there we go. Right, and there are people here. Look, large people. Enormous people with faces and crowns and, oh, gosh, and that Kirby thing and this. Um, right, and uh, so there's playing, and there's Niall, and there's me looking stubby, because I'm the wrong size. Um, that, however, is the correct dimensions, if you wish to build yourself on this server. Someone apparently has built this gentleman. Mm. Oh dear. Oh dear. And here we have the biggest griefer on the planet. Yes, be, be warned. The fact that he looks like Freddy Krueger is very, very specifically important. However, this is Sheldrake, 
And I believe it's created by Sheldrake. He's actually a knop here. Fear him not. He should have made sponges for his buckle. Hmm. Oh dear. And MD has built a rubbishy thing with his name, as usual. War on terror. War is terror. Very true. Anti-war propaganda. Um, anyway, so this is our pixel art one, and you can build stuff here that is pixel art related. If you build things that are not pixel art, they will be removed. Uh, that is pixel art. Ooh, hopefully I didn't actually destroy anything there. Hopefully not. Um, but yes, those are our current worlds. We might add more. Hopefully there will be a full arena world with a PvP arena. That was quite popular before. And another one for... Um, what do you call that business? Oh, it'll come to me. That other business that's other and businessy. Never mind, it'll come to me. Um, obstacle courses, that's them. Um, because those are always popular, although I'm rubbish at them. Um, however, lots of funky worlds in which you can build. Lots of melons everywhere, which is interesting. And as usual, sponges work here, which is why my uh, example heights indicator there is sponged to the eyeballs. Um, there we go, and that's our little server. Um, well, little, don't know. Uh, if we go over here, actually, there's an additional feature that we have, which is, I'm going to get this piece out of my inventory. Do not wish to carry sponge anymore. Uh, in fact, let's get rid of it. Now, um, if we go in here, this is at the back of the hub. Oh, oh, doors. Cannot cope with doors. We can get, there we go, right. We have the bank. And people can have a vault here. And it's a bit Gringotts style. Um, and here is my vault. Number four. And I'm going to fill these chests with raw fish. Amazing. It will be fantastic. And uh, people can't teleport inside the hub, so your stuff will be safe forever. Um, and you can't access other people's, so if I try and hack this gentleman's... I want to get in! It's not mine, so I cannot. Sad times. I wish to loot Bozaliki of his goods. Um, oh, oh cl close the door. There we go. Right. And there we are! That's basically it. There are hidden secrets of hiddenness um, in this hub area. Uh, there's all sorts of stuff underground to be rummaging through. Um, but basically... This is our server, and we welcome everyone. Um, I'll just get back here. There we are. Trees of squareness are square. So, thank you very much for watching. And remember, if you wish to um, to join this particular server, then all you need to do is head off to uh, the URL that's up here, tssminecraft.com slash join, and then you'll be whitelisted on the server when an op gets on. And then you can come and play! Yay! This building is amazing. Uh, right, so thank you very much for watching, and goodbye!